I thank you, each and every one of you that pray for me and just call out my name. And I can't tell you how humbling it is and how grateful I am. And I also pray that whatever blessing you pray for me, that it would be returned to you double fold. And I thank you so much. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu. It means blessed are you, our God, ruler of the universe. It's in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. That name is above every other name. It's holy and blood soaked. And for that, we say thank you. Father, we give you glory and we thank you for this day. We confess anything that we said or done that would hinder this prayer even now as we pray. Father, your word tells us that you are merciful and quick to forgive us as much as we can forgive others. We also forgive ourselves for some of the decisions we made, some of the places we went, and some of the people with which we had no fellowship, and those ideas that would cause us shame if they ever got outside of our heads. Father God, we thank you because somebody is dealing with an impossible looking situation. They've done all that they know how to do. They're drained and emotionally exhausted. And Father, we ask that you would look beyond the break I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that this is not the time for giving up. Help is on the way. Give us the strength to reach up and tie a new knot in the rope so that we can continue to hold on. Don't let the enemy trick us into thinking we can do or cannot do what we've been doing all along. Send refreshing, Father. Help us to hold out until our change comes. Help us to accept your will and to realize that your way is so far above every other way. And we do say, Father, thank you and have your way in our lives. Father, somebody's thought about giving up. So we're asking for greater levels of courage, amen, for your people, including physical courage, social courage, moral courage, emotional courage, intellectual courage, and spiritual courage. We're thanking you in advance because we believe it to be already done. Father, thank you for what you've already done and what you're doing at this very moment. And we thank you for what you're going to do in the future. We realize, God, that we owe you big time. We stand in agreement with every prayer request that's been lifted up that aligns with your will, your word, and your way. Father, we ask that you would heal the sick set the captive free and deliver us from all sin in the mighty name of Jesus. The doctor may have shaken his head and walked away. The lawyer may not see a way out, but we ask God that you would show us the way of escape that you have already prepared. Give us joy in the midst of sorrow and hope for a brighter tomorrow. We cast our cares on you because you care for us. You are worthy. You've got so many reasons to tell us no. We've gone against your will. We've doubted. And God, but you still loved us. You did not turn us over to a reprobate mind. You allowed us to enjoy grace and mercy. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the articulation of speech and the activity of our limbs. We thank you, God, that we still have a mind. Father God, we thank you for your word and for what we got left. Father God, our trust is in you. No matter what it looks like, our trust is in you. No matter what it feels like, our trust is in you. Hallelujah. No matter what we taste, hear, or smell, our trust is in you. Father God, we're also thanking you for the harvest of souls that is to come. And when they arrive, God, we ask that you would gently stop us when we want to saddle them with trite rituals and rules and regulations and meaningless traditions. Lord, help us to see the error of our ways. Help us to become more spiritual so that we do not desire to walk after our flesh. Father God, we want to live right before you. We ask that you would empower us so that we can walk right and talk right, so that we can do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly in your sight. Bind up the every attack of the enemy. Expose his plans and reveal his strategy. Bind up the spirits of murder, mayhem, wrath, rage, calamity, uh, catastrophe, confusion, and chaos. Send them back to the dry place. Then, Father, if you don't mind, in the strong name of Jesus, bring us out to a wealthy place with the wealth of the wicked behind us and in tow. Then hide us in the shadow of your wings. Secure us. Be that strong tower where the righteous can run in and are saved. The hosts of hell are already defeated because you promised to lift up a standard before the enemy. So, Father, we ask that you would break up the camp of the enemy 
and break the back of poverty. And when our hearts are overwhelmed, lead us to the rock that is higher than we are. Help us to stand on your promises. You said in your word in Deuteronomy 27 that you would cause the enemies who rise up against us to be smitten before our faces, that they would come out against us one way and flee before us seven ways. You know the plans you have for us, plans for our good and not for our evil. You said to give us a future and a hope. We thank you, Daddy, for the blood of Jesus. Shed at Calvary, it shall never lose its power. It still works. I tell you, it works, somebody. Do you hear me? It works. We decree and declare that right now we are healed. We are filled, sealed, saved, and sanctified. We are loved unconditionally. And we have your word, and we tell you thank you. We have unlimited favor with our creditors. We have supernatural debt cancellation. We have our financial accounts being fattened right now. We have abundant life, money coming to us. Good health, wealth, and wisdom are ours. Prosperity chases us, and not only that, but it overtakes us. And warring angels stand ready at our doorsteps. We thank you for the peace that passeth all understanding. We thank you that that dead situation that is worthy of resuscitation is being enlivened right now. Yes, God, we've got a whole new attitude in you. We are receptive and receiving and waiting on the blessings that only you have. You said in your word that we would not have room to receive them. We are the heirs of salvation and we walk in authority now, God. We thank you that we're walking by faith and not by sight, that we are the righteousness of Christ. We are forgiven. Yes, God, we are even the apple of your eye. And we decree and declare that our latter days shall be greater than the former. I call out cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. COVID-19, autism, arthritis, diabetes, irregular blood pressure, epilepsy, palsy, lupus, multiple sclerosis, sickle cell anemia, heart, liver, and kidney problems, joint problems. I speak to every infirmity, including you, fibromyalgia and fibroids every infirmity and every frailty your strength and potency are being reversed each of the 11 systems of the human body we decree and declare that you will align yourselves with the divine blueprint of god bless god the sick the shut in the bereaved the bedridden the lonely the heartbroken the incarcerated those unfairly accused the defamed and the depressed those who are being oppressed those who are suffering for their faith God, somebody's disillusioned, somebody's hopeless right now, homeless, God, somebody's incontinent, afflicted, and addicted. God, we ask that you would bless them, though, those who have been counted out by society, those who have lost their faith, those who are hurt by people in the church, and those who don't have enough to eat, those who don't have shoes, those who don't have clothing, Father, God, for those who don't have a home, for the victims of abuse and sex trafficking, those being tortured, those contemplating suicide father god send relief send relief god and release them god in the strong name of jesus father bless everyone under the sound of my voice cause everything our hands touch to prosper give us the desires of our heart and father reclaim the backslider and open the eyes of those who don't yet know you in the pardons of their sin show yourself strong in the behalf of your people Bless the essential workers and everyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, give traveling mercies to those who must be out and about on the highways and the byways. And we ask that you would get glory out of what we say and do in spite of what we say and do. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we submit this prayer, God. And those in agreement will signify so by saying amen, amen, and amen.